Okay, this right here is the TTE DS, also known as Top Toy DS or DS Top Toy. All right, you can order it from a website called KeepGaming.com. That's K E E P G A M I N G dot C O M. You can um click on their left side of DS and uh DS TT um. Uh, imported items. Okay, now this is what it looks like. Top slot open. The DS TT. That usually, sh if you choose regular shipping method, it comes within four. It comes within the fourth day that you ordered it. All right. You can also get this memory card. Mine is a two gig. All right. Now you want to put it in this way into your TT DS. Clicks in, clicks out. Now you want to grab your DS, turn it around, put it in like you would put a normal game in. All right. Now today I'm going to show you guys how to change your DS skin, the skin on t on your DS TT. Okay. Done. For some reason this wouldn't load up. it again okay there we go now this is the menu I was talking about this up here and this down here um, this is the menu of games I have this is the skin I'm going to sh this is the skin that I'm going to show you guys how to change I'm gonna right now I'm gonna show you where to get it on the website so I'm gonna turn this off all right, now we're going to go to the computer, and this is the website. The website is called ndstt.com, right here, ndstt.com. It will be in the video description, this whole link. All right, now, when you get to that website, you want to click down here, where it says DIY Skin. Will not click it, but you want to move around in this image. Right now, I'm going to show you guys how to install this one right here, the new Mario. You click it, but I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, when you download that, you want to. Okay, after you download that, it's going to come in in an image looking like this one right here, looking like that. You, what you want to do is you want to right click, click extract here. I've already done it, so there's no need for me to do it. So I would cancel it right here. I would click cancel. Okay, now you want to add this into your. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to take your. You want to take this out. You want to take out the memory card. Kind of stiff to come out. Um, you want to get your mini SD card reader, and you want to insert the memory card inside. Then you want to take it and put it to a USB port. Your computer should identify it, you, or if it doesn't identify it, you can click right here in my computer and it should come up. I named mine Odin H. God has my name. Okay, I will click that. Now what you want to do is you want to um, you want to uh, organize by type. Okay, now you want to go to the TT menu. You want to click skins. And this you want to click default. And this is the skin that you have right now. This skin is what's on your DS right now. Now you want to change that. You want to click right here and go back. Right there where it says default. You want to, first you might want to copy that. And place it on your desktop. Just so you don't lose it. After it's finished copying. 
Now you can delete that. Delete it permanently. Now you want to minimize. Okay, and you, after you've extracted this, this file right here, you want to open it and this is what it's going to look like on your DS screen that right there you're going to close that close this and rename the Mario you're going to rename it to default D E A F U L T default or oh, actually wait no sorry spelled it wrong okay D E F U L T default. Oh, actually, wait. Oh crap! Wow. Where's? Well, I can't believe I can't spell that. Okay, the file has already been named. So what you want to do is you might want to name it default, um, and then put a number in front of it so that your old one doesn't get erased. All right. Now you want to open up your old TT menu and you want to drop default 1 onto your TT menu slash skin and after it's when it's finished downloading onto the TT menu okay when it's finished downloading it's going to look like this you want to right click rename click at the end of it and erase the one now you want to find a port that your that your USB was in mine was in L so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close I am going to safely remove it by using this remove USB mask L now we're going to head down to the heart to the computer. I'm going to take the mini SD card reader out. I am going to pull this out, put it back into the TTDS menu, put it back inside, and then place it inside of the DS. Now I will turn it on. and the menu should change after it loads and that's what your menu should look like after you're finished um, and if you're having trouble loading your videos your, me your menu should look like this with your ROMs at the bottom, your NDS ROMs right now I'm going to play Dragon Ball Z Supersonic Warriors 2 it loads up perfectly fine, the game works just gonna show you till the end of till the startup menu. Here it is down here. Alright, I'm gonna go to free battle. Don't know if you can see that. Okay, alright, I'm gonna click Goku. And I'm gonna fight Piccolo. A random stage. and it works okay and that's it for today on my next video I will show you um, how to get your ROMs to load if they don't load anymore and goodbye okay and this is Odane H you can view my listings and my videos at Odane H thank you very much goodbye